Okay, so I had to come back, spin the block on y'all because I feel like I kind of did Canelo Alvarez a little bit dirty, but I was telling the truth. I was giving you my truth. But I'm here to defend him right now because, you know, when they've brought up, when they recently brought up Terrence Crawford, the prospect of him fighting Terrence Crawford, Canelo Alvarez just completely shut it down. And I don't blame him. I really don't blame him. You know, there's guys like Islam Makashev in the UFC that was down and willing to give a guy like Alexander Volkanovsky a chance at a lower, you know, from a lower weight class. But, you know, other than that, you know, there's really no point in those kind of fights because, you know, neither side really benefits. And Canelo Alvarez straight up said, you know, that wouldn't benefit him at all if he won. And it would only hurt him if he lost. So no point in taking that risk. And I agree. I don't think he should have took that risk at all. And this is why, you know, when you think about, you know, boxing and MMA history, you could think about when Chad Dawson went up in weight or went, went down in weight, I mean, to fight Andre Ward. You know, that, that, wasn't, that didn't turn out well for him. When Chad Dawson went down in weight, it did not turn out well. When, when TJ Dillashaw went down in weight to fight Henry Cejudo, that clearly didn't go well at all, you know? These these kind of fights just you know, there's no point in going down and draining yourself and making yourself less weak. There's just no point in that, especially if you're already a champion. You know, there's there's been guys like Roy Jones Jr. that have gone up to heavyweight, then come back down and you know, that that kinda of hurt Roy Jones Jr. too, right? You know, and then there's guys like BJ Penn did the same thing, you know, was in different weight classes and, you know, took a lot of losses between going up and down, especially down. I mean, especially up or down, either way, you know. And then it's, it, there's, you know, there's a bunch of fighters. There's a whole bunch of fighters that have tried to fight at a lower weight class, and it just didn't work out for them too well. Now, I think, like, Nonito Donaire is a, one of the best examples of people going, you know, up and down a weight class, like, especially, like, going down a weight class and having a lot of success and revitalizing their careers. Ultimately, in the end, there's just no point. And historically, it's just been shown to be a bad move. So kudos to Canelo Alvarez on this. You made the right decision. You didn't give in to the peer pressure. And you did what you do normally. You avoid risk. So now nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You made the right decision this time. And I support it. Y'all know the vibes. It's Dolo Ren producer and content creator of the Productive Conversations podcast. Tune in on YouTube, Apple, Spotify. We drop reels on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. So go ahead, like, share, subscribe, comment, follow, all that good stuff. I'll catch you on the next one.